Boom. Guess what? We're cooking. Yay. And we're going to use something called eggs again. And we're going to use something called bread. Bizarrely, I've never seen bread like this before. This is simple cooking made simple, simply. It doesn't get simpler than that. I mean, if you've met me, you know it's got to be simple. Uh, and bacon. Mmm, what can I possibly be making? Well, it's eggy bread with bacon. Yes, I know. It sounds amazing. It is amazing. And it's cheap and it's cheerful and it uses scraps up out of your fridge uh, and a loaf of non-generic bread. Anyway, let's get cooking. Well, prepping. Okay, first thing we need to do is crack the eggs. So it's one egg. And two eggs. Put them in a bowl and then whisk them until they're all whisked. Nice and yummy. You can add salt if you want, but I prefer not to. I think there's enough salt in other things than adding salt to stuff, including the bacon for that matter. So, mix it all up. There you go. It's all a nice, even colour. You need to get the frying pan a bit hotter than normal. Well, not hotter than it was for the fried eggs anyway. And here it's starting to sizzle a little bit. So we'll turn it down a little bit. We're up to temperature. Turn it down a little bit. There we go. And then you get your bread. This is optimistically. Maybe non-generic, but it's the label's not right on it. I can't get them into the bread. It's good by error. Simple if you get the bread out first. All right, we're in, we're in. I'd open it the other way around, but we're in. Right, non-generic bread. I don't what this bread's like. It's quite tough, actually, but anyway. So you go like that, and you go like that. Make sure that the there's egg evenly over the bread, and then you just simply pop the bread in the frying pan. So that's part one. Part two, you get the bacon, and then you slice it thinly. So you get one slice, two slice, three slice, four slice, five slice, six slice, and so on. All the way down. And then, move the camera over, said bacon, you then put onto the bread and push it in a little bit. Careful, because obviously this is hot. This is not for kids to do. So you push it into the bread, like that. And then, hopefully by now, the underside will be cooked. What you do is you flip it over, like that. You hear the sizzle? That's a bacon sizzling there. Let's just leave it for a minute or two. I will do is one I prepared earlier. One thing I do recommend is you have two forks. One which is for your raw egg, and the other one which is the one you're going to eat the thing with, because that's cooked egg, so it's your cooked egg fork. So press it down a little bit. You know, it's sizzling away. The reason you've got to get your fat quite hot is because you don't want it to soak into the bread. So you want the, the egg to go uh, solid on the outside, which seals in the bread then in the middle. Put it back over. That one's fell off. Put it back on again. Put it back again. and leave it for a couple of minutes. Okay, so I've let it go for about another minute. Let me play it across. Do then is I'll pick it up, let it drain off excess fat, put it across, move that out of the way. And there you go. You've got eggy bread with bacon. So you just chop it down the middle. Just eat it with a knife and fork because it is hot. There you go. 
egg and bacon, uh, egg and bacon, eggy bread with bacon. I thank you. Until next time, we're seeing you.